seen these black fuzzy caterpillars. They're called salt marsh caterpillars, and they've been seen everywhere across Central Texas. News 10's Jessica Raj Kumar is in studio today after speaking with an expert on what you should know about these little bugs. Jessica. Yes, Lauren and Gordon, these little caterpillars are all over Central Texas, and they will eventually transform into tiger moths. I spoke with an entomologist who says that even though they are not venomous, they may irritate your skin if you come in contact with one. They come in different colors, but the black salt marsh caterpillar can be found almost anywhere in Central Texas. It's kind of this black large caterpillar that's pretty slow moving, but usually is off of a plant, just kind of wandering through your yard or across the sidewalk or the street. The caterpillars we see are mature larvae that will soon become tiger moths when they finish maturing. An entomologist Molly Keck with Texas A&M AgriLife says they flourish in warm and moist environments. It's just availability of lots of juicy green leaves because we've had pretty decent rain throughout most of the state this spring, and that's what's that's why we're seeing a lot of them right now. Keck says that the caterpillars are not venomous, but some experts believe that their spiky hairs can potentially irritate skin. Um, and you could be sensitive to that. Whether they are a true irritant or not, you could have an, a funny allergy or irritation to them, so it's better just not to touch them if, if at all possible. And if they are destroying your plants, Keck recommends finding a way to safely remove them. Very opportunistic. They really don't care what they feed on. You can try to hand pick them off with some gloves. You can utilize different insecticides that are targeted towards caterpillars. We can expect the caterpillars to be here for the rest of spring and a majority of the summer, but Keck says that she expects us to see them less as the months get colder. If you come into contact with one and have an irritation or even an allergic reaction, consult with your doctor on the best course of action. Reporting in studio, Jessica Rajkumar, KWTX, News 10.